Yo, what's up, boys and girls? Welcome here. I'm back at Igon's video. This is Melinda, but today, welcome back to another video. It is finally time. It is finally here. Yes, it is Megaton season, the 2019 Megaton, which we got right here. The new exclusive gold Sark Megaton has hit the TCG. It was technically available on August 29th, but it's now gotten its wider release and is now TCG legal. I'm very excited to open up this tin. We have a lot of really notable cards to get through. We could potentially pull one of three really strong promos, things like Nibiru the Primal Bean, Dark Ruler No More, and also one of my things that I'm looking forward to is Dimension Shifter. In addition, then we have cool alternate artworks for certain cards and also OCG imports we can look forward to. But not only that, but we also have this really sweet tin, which actually the size is kind of nice. I like it. Uh, it looks really cool too. In addition to that, we also are getting a lot of really crazy rarity switch around. Not all cards receive rarity upgrades or downgrades, but unlike previous years where the cards that were printed in, let's say, Secret Rare in the set before, in the Mega Tin, they're printed as Secret Rare. Whereas in this tin right here, cards that were printed as in Commons, in Rares, as Ultra Rares, even Secret Rares, are now changed. Some of them have rarity upgrades to the prismatic rarity, and some of them have downgrades to things like from secret rare to ultra rare, most notably for things like Boral Sword Dragon and Sky Striker Mobilize Engage. What's really cool is we also get a lot of nice competitive cards, like let's say Salman Great Foxy, got a rarity upgrade to its prismatic rare. Crusader Reclusia, same thing, into a higher rarity. I'm looking forward to seeing how those look in my hands. But outside of that, I'm excited to see what these new TCG promos are going to do to the format. These promos are insane, being able to stop combo decks left and right and in a nice control aspect of decks that might not have it available. You have a better raw sphere mode in the form of the Nibiru, the Primal Bean. You have a hand trap Dark Law, which is super cool in the form of Dimension Shifter. And Dark Ruler No More? It is kind of nuts too. I'm usually a big fan of the yearly Megatons, but honestly, this is just so, so cool. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and just crack this baby open and see what we can find. All right, swiggity swiggity, great oogly boogly. Let's go ahead and doodly do this. So we have right here the 2019 Yu-Gi-Oh! Megatons. It is finally time. Let's go ahead and crack this Konami seal of approval and see what's inside. First and foremost, can we acknowledge the the product design of Konami's te dev team? I don't really know what to call that. This is a super cool, very creative Megaton. I love like little rivets and details with this, like with the aluminum here. It looks really cool. I've always liked their gold tins for some reason. I think well, I said this whenever the uh, 2017 or 2018 Mega Tins with Yugi and the Kaiba ones. Um, they were, they looked great. And the Yugi one especially, because I think it's the same gold too. Obviously, I think they go for the same finish. But oh man, it's so cool. Um, oh man, it just looks so great. I cannot wait to crack this open. The tin itself is also really nice. It's small and compact as well, which I like. I think the other ones being really kind of wide is kind of weird. Like I can fit them in a lot of places, but um, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, let's go ahead and just crack this guy open. Oh, yeah. Oh, sick. All right, cool. What the heck is this? Neo Kai, okay, so it's one of the new cards. So as you're seeing right now, this is one of the um, the new one of the new rarities. Go ahead and just get this uh, focus real quick. There you go. Um, with the prismatic rarity, it's kind of nice. Throw this aside real quick and see the empty tin. All right. So let's go ahead and just open these packs. These packs contain three of the yearly set roundups and promos. So here's going to be our promo pack. This thing is actually really cool so far. I'm digging it. Go ahead and open that. What's really interesting about these tins itself too is that they're coming with a lot of promos. Previously, we only got like a couple promos per, per tin, but now... Neo Kaiser Glider, it's kind of a neat little car. I like the artwork itself. I think these are um, these are new artworks to my knowledge, or they are ones that we're getting now in the TCG. Ah, Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. That's such a cool card. This guy's actually really cool. I like this effect. I like the idea and concept behind him. Of course, that prismatic rarity is just beautiful. Ah, what a body. What a body. An Obelisk, the Tormentor. Okay, so this one's kind of weird. I don't know if you can necessarily see that on camera. Oh yeah, you can, right here, right here. See that, like it's very off, like the whiteness and the in the uh, the prismatic rarity is kind of kind of neat. Now, I really do like this artwork a lot. I think the alternative artworks for the, the Egyptian gods are really nice. Oh, man, I'm digging this one a lot. Nice, a Raigeki in prismatic. I think I already have one of these. Uh, whatever, anyways, this is cool. So you, you all, in addition to the obelisk and a bunch of the other cards you get, um, the Egyptian gods, whatever, you also get um, things like Raigeki, uh, Monster Born, I think, is the other one, too. There's a lot of really neat little promos that you can get. Um, I dig the Regeki. Too bad no one really plays Regeki anymore, but hey, either way. And then, yeah, here we go. Nibiru the Primal Bean. This card is crazy. If you guys do not know what it does, if your opponent normal summons or special summons five monsters, 
then you can essentially crash their entire board and then give this give them a token give yourself a 3000 body really sweet card i really like dimension shifter this card itself is also really nice and you get one of three so it makes these makes opening these packs and these uh these tins very exciting so ah oh, that's 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 beautiful beautiful so far i'm digging it so all right let's go ahead and crack open these mega tins of course that new new card smell oh it's beautiful let me just go ahead and smell that real quick ah oh, mm, beautiful okay so First things first, first pack, we have Toll Hike, Salamangre, Emerald, Eagle. I'm surprised actually this one didn't get a rarity upgrade considering the Salamangrates, but it's whatever. Honestly, no one played the ritual anyways, so I mean, that's what it is. Link Turret, Performer Pal, Hand Samurai Gur, Concentrating Current, a uh, Dampir, Dampir Vampire Sheridan. This guy was previously in a secret rare, I believe, from a dual, um, dual Dark Saviors. World Legacy, World Lance, all right. This card is actually really neat. Neat little tech that you could have done in Crusadia's per chance whenever you uh, attack your opponent, um, opponent's monster with a link monster. That uh, The card comes zero, I believe, or something like that. This is actually kind of neat. Um, neat little card, neat little card. Crusadia Maximus. Oh man, look at that rarity. Gorgeous, gorgeous rarity. Oh my gosh. I love the, how the Crusadias are now getting rarity bumps and upgrades, and this one is no different. Oh, nice. Nice, nice pull. Beat Bladesman for Hire. This card is really good in Duel Links, not so much in the TCG. <laughs> but uh, whatever. We Witch's Apprentice is a com. Oh, it's a rare. I thought it was a common. No, no, this is a rare. That's kind of neat. Um, previously, this card is variable as a super. Um, Crusader Crawler, White Stingray, Medolce, Dino Hero for Hire, Monster Reborn Reborn. Yeah, that's kind of neat. All right. Um, let me actually go ahead and put these rarities somewhere it's here as well. So you get one super, one ultra and one rare nice overall pretty cool i'm digging it i'm digging it second pack let's see what we can pull let's see what we can get these are actually really nice i like the new rarity upgrades it's really cool and also it's nice to see some like it's weird seeing some of them as common but you know it is what it is vampire's domain vampire scarlet scourge again some dual links players out there some vendred amina that's kind of a neat card goki tag partner interestingly enough these the goki cards um, aren't really that good. I think they came a little bit late for the past Goki format, but uh, I actually kind of miss Gokis. Gokis are a cool deck that I thoroughly enjoy. Dragoonity Senutus. I think this card previously was an ultra rare as well. Uh, Vendred Nightmare. And I see we got a Revendred Execute Executor. Kind of a neat little ritual card. I really do like Vendreds as an archetype. They're kind of neat, but um, yeah, so this card's actually kind of cool. And our rarity for Prismatic is our Morgan, the Enchantress of Avalon. Very cool card. Love the Noble Knights artworks. They're actually really good. I like the um, the whole lore and aesthetic behind them. Pretty nice. Nightmare Cerberus is an ultra. All right, nice. This card previously was available as a super as well. Um, nice little rarity upgrade there. I think Phoenix would have been really cool because the service is nice, but that's cool. And then Sacred Noble Knight uh, King Custian. Nice. Backup Operator, kind of neat. Crusadius Patha, common again. Recognize that. Cyber Dragon Veer, shout out to my Cyber Dragon players. Um yeah kind of neat kind of neat all right so last pack here let's see what we can get let's see if we can get something kind of crazy if not nbd we have some nice cards i really these tenders are so cool so cool world legacy world wand shout out to my orcas players out there playing this one of Signet ritual crusadia leonis will the salamangri obviously this one didn't get a well, actually real quick i'm kind of sad that leonis didn't get an upgrade as well this card's actually really cool and obviously is really good inside of the crusader strategy but still nonetheless a neat little reprint will salamangri didn't get a rarity upgrade in this one because i recently got a rarity upgrade um in another pack token collector as a common previously available as a rare and i believe an ultra rare for the promo i think i have both those somewhere sitting down trance familiar Incantation Bookstone. Nice little rarity bump for this one. For the incantation, these cards are going to be used inside of things like Necroz, which recently topped, topped, a, um, topped a YCS, I believe. Very cool, very cool. And then Noble Knights, no, and, and, <laughs> until the Noble Arms are needed once again. This card's actually a pretty good card for the Noble Knight strategy, but unfortunately not what I'm looking for inside of my Prismatic Rare. Still kind of a cool artwork, and I appreciate the rarity upgrade. Thank you, Konami. And then a Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor. That's more like it. That's a card you can actually use in competitive play. That's a nice card. Nice rarity downgrade as well. Really appreciate that the fact they're making these cards readily available. Very cheap for budget players. Hashtag budget boys out there. But all right, let's go. Let's go Widow Anchor. Let's go Konami. Sparing Contest. 
Goki Octo Stretch, very good inside of Gokis back in the day. Mayhem for Hire, Galaxy Brave, Shield Handler, Clock Spark Toy, and a Jamming Waves. That's actually a really weird common. Oh my god. This feels flimsy. Gross. Does it still work the same way without it being a rarity? <laughs> um, all right, cool, cool. Yeah, I don't know. So that, that was it for um for this tin opening again i really like these tins i really like what they're trying to do with the different rarities and upgrades and of course the tin itself looks beautiful i'd recommend picking up some if you guys like like opening packs if you guys want to see more of course um that's like some nice some nice rarities and tcg exclusives these things are pretty cool sad we didn't pull anything crazy this this time but maybe next time the winter anchor is not a bad pull itself but um yeah let's say we've got boral sword dragon we have Engage, very good cards as well. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys like the video, make sure to leave a like. If you want some more, please subscribe to our videos, come on the pipeline stage for that if you want to. But that's all I gotta say for today. I will see you guys later, potentially for another pack opening, but again, not a pack opening channel. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.